I think we all know at this stage that Windows 10 is on its way out and Windows 11 is becoming more and more an invasive, bloated hodgepodge of an operating system. I've been banging on for some time that rather than chuck your old PC and move to Windows 11, it's possible for many everyday Windows users to migrate to Linux, even on older hardware. Zorin OS comes up a lot as a user-friendly option in that space, and the new Zorin OS 18 beta really feels like a Zorin team is saying, Hey, Windows users, we've built you a soft landing spot. The new Zorin OS 18 beta is available now for testing and is based upon Ubuntu Noble Numbat LTS version with a modified GNOME 26 desktop and the Linux 6.14 kernel. On the desktop, Zorin already looks and operates a lot like Windows 10 or 11, depending on the appearance settings you choose. Zorin 18 also introduces a new tiling manager that makes multitasking dead simple. It feels natural, and if you're used to Windows 11 snapping, you'll be right at home. I should say this feature is also available in newer versions of Ubuntu as well, but Zorin includes it here as another way to make X Windows users feel more at home. Now, how about OneDrive integration? For years, this has been a sticking point for anyone thinking about switching to Linux. In Zorin 18, you can sign into your Microsoft 365 account, and your OneDrive shows up right inside the file manager, just like you do in Windows, as you can see here. That alone removes a huge barrier for folks worried about leaving the Microsoft ecosystem behind. What about Windows apps? That's often the scariest part of switching. What if your favorite program doesn't exist on Linux? It's a valid concern. Again, the Zorin team is at least trying to accommodate you here. The 18 beta has an expanded database that recognizes more than 170 Windows installers. So when you try to run one, Zorin will either guide you through resetting it up with Windows app support or suggest a solid Linux alternative. No guessing, no endless Googling. It's like having a built-in assistant helping you adjust. Nice. Taken altogether, Zorin OS 18 should feel less like a jump into the unknown and more like sliding into a familiar setup with some of the rough edges smoothed out for you. You get a modern look, better cloud integration, better support for your old apps, and it even runs well on older hardware. Honestly, it feels like Zorin is doubling down on its mission to make Linux the easiest escape hatch for Windows users who are ready to try something new. The stable release is due later in 2025, but even in beta, it already seems smooth and user-friendly, as one would expect coming from Zorin. If you're curious about Linux or just don't want to be dragged into Microsoft's upgrade treadmill, Zorin 18 may be the perfect next step. So that's another video in the can. If you find this informative or interesting, please consider liking and subscribing down below. And remember, be excellent to each other.